Good afternoon, it's that time of the week. Uh, it's time for a tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing your mates have sent you an email containing a GPX file that they want to share with you. How is it you're going to get your files from email into a folder on your desktop, into Garmin Basecamp and finally onto your GPS device. So let's get stuck into it. First things first, we're going into your inbox. You've got your email here. You double click on it, open it up and there's your GPX files. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to save attachments. You're going to go across and browse. Go to so my desktop shared routes. You can choose whatever you want to do, whatever folder you want to put it into. You select it here and save. Let's get out of there. And what you'll do now is go to Basecamp. So you open Basecamp up. In under my collection, you'll create a folder for the import. Go to file, import, go to your desktop, find your shared routes, highlight the shared routes and open. And it basically goes ahead and imports the data. So you've you've brought in you've brought in your tracks. Okay, there they are. They're visible in your or on your maps. Now you want to get it to your device. So highlight the file and then go across here to the icon and send your file to your device. You then go to your device, select where you want to save it. Mine goes on to the internal hard drive and click OK. And you'll notice here, there you go. Your files are now being stored on your internal storage. So that's pretty much it. It's, it's hell of a straightforward. And ultimately, the reverse. Now, for example, you want to you want to go ahead and and export a file and email to your mates. So the same thing applies. So for example, you've brought in the file from your GPS, you've saved it into a folder. You would then go through the exact opposite. So you would export it. You would find the folder you want to export it to. So for example, you into shared routes, you save it here, and then you go to your your email program, whatever that's going to be, you create an email. Okay, put in whoever your recipient is, the subject, and you then insert or attach file, double click on it, and send. That's it. It's as simple as that. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you've got any constructive criticism, don't hesitate to put it in the comments below. And please, if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. And don't forget to tag the bell so that you get notifications of any further tutorials that I might post. That's all for today. Hope you have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you in the next one.